Hey guys, how you doing? Malcolm Moore here. Now, I've been stuck in a cloud all morning, so I didn't think I was gonna get the chance to make a video today, but the sun's popped out, so I just wanna give you a real quick exercise. Now, this is something I do a lot, something I love doing, and it's an exercise which is really gonna unleash the potential of using your back leg whilst you're snowboarding. This is something that's gonna be good for intermediate riders, so people that are already turning, but maybe your turns aren't very high performance, they're a bit skidded. By doing this exercise, I'm about to show you you're really gonna be able to use that back leg to start driving much better, creating more power, more board performance through your turns. <laughs> so when we're snowboarding, it's the front foot that pulls us into the turn, that initiates that edge change to bring you from toes to heels or from your heels to your toes. Now, if this isn't really making sense, check out this video first before you watch this one. It's gonna help explain that a bit more. But for most of us, we understand it's the front foot that pulls us into the turn, and as I say, initiates that edge change. Because the front foot's really important, we spend a lot of time teaching beginners how to really use the front foot, how to get their weight over the front leg to get the board turning. But a lot of the time, once we've got past that point, once the beginner does start turning, we then kind of forget about where our weight should be through which leg we should be applying pressure. And although the front foot is awesome for starting the turn, once you've actually changed your edge, it's the back foot that can then really drive the board round through a turn. And if you just keep all your pressure on the front foot, you'll find the back end of your board just washes out and you lose grip. So what I do, what I've got here, is a really simple exercise that just brings attention towards your back foot. It's gonna feel a bit strange at first, but bear with me. So you see what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna loosen off my bindings, a few clicks on the toes and on the ankle strap. Okay, so you can see now my foot it's gonna feel a bit weird. It can really wobble around in the binding. Don't do it so, so loose that your foot's gonna pop out. That's not gonna be ideal, but just allow that foot to have a bit of movement. Now by doing this, you're gonna force yourself to bring attention towards your back foot to your back leg. And to start off, I don't want you to change anything with your riding. Just ride like this and see how it feels. As I say, the first few edge changes are gonna feel quite alien but then what you should start to find is you feel yourself really noticing the back foot rather than it just skidding out and not really doing much. It's actually gonna help drive you through the turn. And even just without thinking about anything else, you might start to find you have a bit more grip towards the end of the turn and that board is really driving across the slope, propelling you across the slope with good grip rather than just washing out. So let's jump in, let's give this a go and explain it a little bit more later. First couple of edge changes, like I thought, felt a bit weird, took a bit of getting used to, but once you got into it, it actually felt quite nice. I could really feel that back foot pushing me, driving me through the turns. Now, the reason this works is because although the front foot starts the edge change, the beginning part of the turn is what I kind of call the lazy part of the turn. All we're doing is turning the board into the full line. Full line being, you know, if I had a tennis ball, if I let it roll down on the slope, it would follow the full line. It would follow that line down the slope. It would just go with gravity. And that's what we're doing at the beginning of this turn. We're just turning the board into the full line and going with gravity. So we're not having to fight anything, but as soon as we turn past the full line, our momentum, gravity, everything wants us to keep going down in that straight line, but we're turning against that. Now, as we turn against that, it's then the back foot that becomes really important. If all your weight's on the front foot and you turn past the full line, the back end of your board is just gonna wash right out. But if you can start to shift some pressure through your back leg, it's that back leg that's really gonna drive you through the latter part of your turn. 
And basically that's what you're doing throughout a turn is you're essentially working your weight along the side cut. So yeah, the front foot starts the turn, gets your weight up towards the nose of the board. You then work your weight towards the center of the board. But then as soon as you turn past that full line, to manage the forces, the pressure coming up through your board to make sure you don't skid out, you need to get your weight more through the back leg. Now, I'm not making a huge change in my position over the top of the board, I'm staying pretty centered. It's more just the actual pressure that I'm applying through my back foot. So hopefully you felt that by loosening off that front foot, it kind of does this for you. And you should find, although the beginning bit of the turn might not feel so great, the end part of the turn, you should really feel the ability to achieve grip and drive right through it. So we'll do some more. We'll start riding a bit quicker, pushing us a bit faster. And that's the feeling we're trying to go for. So we're not just playing with it now, but you kind of know what we want. We want to achieve that extra grip, that extra power at the end of the turn. So let's see if we can feel that really working. Let's loosen it off. Just a couple more clicks. Man, that was real good fun. I could really feel that back foot driving me through the turns. So I started off quite mellow on a green run there. So I'm gonna take the same exercise now to this much steeper red slope and really feel the back foot push me through. Ski racing. Feel that back foot push me through at the end of my short radius turns on the steep. And as I say, my front foot is still real loosey goosey. So that's it guys, a really simple exercise. But by loosening off that front foot, it really brings attention to the power and the drive that you can get through that rear leg. So give it a go yourself, let me know how you get on. And if you like this video, as always, please hit that like and subscribe button. 
And if you're interested in coming out here to Alpe in France and having lessons with myself, then just check the link in the description down below.